scowl to a new generation of Viking legends, we're setting sail back to the epic world of Vikings, Valhalla for a deep dive into season one. In the Danelaw, a region of England settled by Vikings, it is St. Bryce's Day and Harold Sigurdsson leaves for Norway. Meanwhile, King Æthelred Roman II, the ruler of England, orders all Danish settlers in England to be killed, including Harold's brother Sten Sigurdsson. King Canute, the ruler of Denmark, calls all Viking warriors to meet in Kattegat to form an army to exact revenge. Greenlanders Leif Eriksson and Freydis Eriksdotir travel to Kattegat through a great storm, unaware of the massacre, as Freydis seeks revenge on the man who raped and scarred her years earlier. She soon discovers the man responsible, Gunnar Magnusson, a follower of Harald's older half-brother Olaf Haraldsson, a devout Christian who doesn't trust pagans. Leif later defends himself due to the reputation of his infamous father Eric the Red and Harald promises him glory if Leif joins his forces in England. Later that night, Freydi sneaks into the Great Hall and kills Gunnar. Before an enraged Olaf can kill Freydi, Jarl Hocken, the ruler of Kattegat, stops him. Harald informs everyone that Gunnar's death was justified as Freydi reveals a cruciform scar on her back. Hocken states that she will render judgment in the morning. Freydi challenges Olaf to a trial by combat but is denied. Instead, Harald has Leif join him in England to help exact revenge on the Saxons. Hocken sends Freydis to Uppsala so that she may seek her destiny. Æthelred's wife, Queen Emma, later visits her now bedridden husband, who warns her that London needs to be defended. Emma sends her stepson, Prince Edmund, the heir to the throne of England, to seek aid from the Ealdorman of Mercia, Edric Striona. Edmund is successful in convincing Striona to supply Mercian soldiers to help repel the Vikings, but on his return to London, bells toll, signaling Æthelred's death. The Viking army sack Kent and they learn of Æthelred's death, so they now set their sights on his son. In Sweden, Freydis and several other pilgrims are attacked by a berserker who kills the Greenlander Toke and seriously wounds Ursa. Freydis kills the attacker and brings Ursa to a healer's hut before continuing her journey to Uppsala alone. Later, the Christian zealot Jarl Kerr finds the body of the berserker and begins to follow a trail of blood left by Ursa. The Viking leaders discuss their impending assault on London by using the bridge to their advantage and drawing out King Edmund. As the Viking army arrives outside London, Canute taunts Edmund into charging into battle alongside his soldiers, against the advice of Emma and Godwin. Vikings and Saxons fight until Canute leads the Saxons into an ambush on the far side of the bridge. Meanwhile, Leif, Harold and several others successfully weaken the drawbridge, attach ropes to its supports, and use Olaf's longboats to pull it down. Godwin informs Edmund of the bridge's impending collapse, but Edmund fails to cross in time and is trapped, forcing him to surrender. Striona arrives to witness the Saxon army's defeat and decides to abandon Edmund. The Viking army successfully conquers London, taking Emma and the other nobles captive. Harold attempts to exact his revenge by executing Edmund, but is stopped by Canute. He later promises to make Harald the king of Norway and reveals that Olaf has a secret son, Magnus Olafsson. During a celebratory feast, Canute awards his warriors the spoils of war and releases Leif from his sister's debt. Canute then executes Striona for breaking his oath to Edmund and crowns himself the first Viking king of England, who will rule alongside Edmund. He also befriends Emma and rescues her children who had been taken captive by Olaf. In Uppsala, Freydis takes part in a pagan ceremony that provides a glimpse into her past. During a vision, she is visited by the seer who gives her a cryptic warning. Kerr arrives at the healer's hut seeking vengeance and kills Ursa. Freydis then awakens from her vision and leaves Uppsala. Freydis reaches the healer's hut and confronts Kerr who tells her to warn Harkon that he is coming to kill them all. Freydis returns to Kattegat and trains to become a shield maiden with Altera, Hawken's second in command. Hocken recounts her own vision of the seer and claims that Freydis is the last daughter of Uppsala. Olaf leaves England with his forces and heads to Denmark whilst Leif and Harald return to Kattegat. In Denmark, Olaf asks Canute's Mercian wife, Queen Elfjufu, for her support in becoming the ruler of Norway. In London, Canute makes Godwin and Emma his advisors, with the latter informing him that the Ildormen are close to rebellion. Kerr sends the corpses of the priests of Uppsala to Kattegat as a warning. Leif, Freydis and Harald head to Uppsala and witness the aftermath of Kerr's massacre with the survivors claiming that Kerr's god ordered him to destroy all pagans. Olaf meets with Kerr and forges an alliance to take Kattegat in an effort to unite Norway. 
In London, Edmund discovers that Canute has left England to fight the Wends in Denmark, but not before marrying Emma in secret. Canute's father, King Swain Forkbeard, arrives to rule in his place with Forkbeard's granddaughter Jitha serving as Emma's lady-in-waiting. Angered by Forkbeard's presence, Edmund attempts to form a resistance, but Godwin betrays him by setting a trap and stabs him in the heart, leaving Canute as the sole king of England. Alfjafu arrives in London, bringing with her Canute's fleet, and threatens Forkbeard that she will order it to aid Olaf and his conquest. To prevent Alfjafu from sending Canute's fleet to Olaf, Forkbeard seemingly banishes Emma to Normandy. Alfjafu and Godwin then travel to Mercia and convince the Mercians to give Forkbeard their support. However, in Alfjafu's absence, Forkbeard locates Canute's fleet and Emma retakes the throne of England. In Norway, Harald chooses to side with Olaf, but secretly informs Leif of Olaf's attack plan. As the battle for Kattegat begins, Kerr's forces assault the city walls, and whilst defending Kattegat, Hakon, Altera, and Arn are killed by Kerr's followers. Obsessed with killing Freydis, Kerr hunts her down to the Great Hall, but she is able to outmaneuver and behead him. Knowing his brother would betray him, Olaf's attack plan is revealed to have been a ruse in order to weaken both Hakon and Kerr's forces. Olaf's army arrives in Kattegat with little resistance and Olaf mortally wounds Liv who dies in Leif's arms. Harald is wounded during the battle, but Freydis comes to his aid and they flee. Olaf claims victory, but after Forkbeard arrives with Canute's fleet, Olaf's forces quickly abandon Kattegat. Forkbeard's grandson Harald Harefoot then discovers several of Kerr's followers slaughtered and an enraged Leif covered in blood. Thanks for watching this recap. Like and subscribe for more epic recap videos. Let us know your favorite moments from Vikings. Valhalla Season 1 in the comments below. What are your predictions for Season 2?